Here we go, we're back on the road again, Sunday morning, first round of the British Extreme at Tong. Bit of a different start today. Um, busy weekend with the family, so setting off on Sunday morning. So limited track walks. Normally I walk British Extremes on the Saturday. So a bit different this time, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Slightly wet conditions in Middlesbrough. Um, I think it's much of the same over over at Tong. So it should be an interesting day. I've seen some snippets of the track and it looks awesome as always. So looking forward to getting going. PM race. So we'll see how it goes. See how we get on. Fingers crossed, good start of the season. Here we go. We're here Sunday morning, a wet, rainy tongue. Nothing new, it's always wet and rainy here. Going down to the start now to watch the morning race get away. Try and catch up with some of the lads. It's gonna to be tough. A couple of the lads have uh, said the track is looking hard, so we're gonna go and check a few bits out. Got the morning race about to start, didn't get a chance to check up with the lads, Duncan had a bit of a uh, start button issue, so we've managed to get that best we can. So they're about to start the morning race now, stood in an area, quite wet, quite boggy, straight off the start, through these trees, so we'll watch the boys get away, and there they go. Crossland won't watch out. He's in the youth this morning, he'll have a good ride I would imagine. Bad start for this guy in the youth class. And here we go. I think this is the sportsman, this is a massive class. Four rows. Here they all come, is this young Matty Knacker in second? Can we do the robot?
a guy stuck in a bog. Let's go check out some other areas. Absolutely abysmal conditions out there. Just been for a little walk around while the morning race was on, checked out a few bits. Didn't really get much footage. Um, back in the van now, got an hour or so till the start of my race, so I'm just uh, drying off a little bit, get changed, chill out, get a bit of food and water into us. Let's get the show on the road, it looks very, very greasy in places. Looks a good course, um, flown in areas, tricky in others. So yeah, should make for a good race, good event. So yeah. Get warm, get dry, get fed and watered. Let's do it.
Fucking arms! Get out, mate, I'm dragging off. Hold on, man. I've got yeah. I've got arm pump. Fucking, I've got trials grips on, which is shite. Fucking hell. Can't hold on, can you? That's fast life. Relentless. Are you going back out? Has it fucked? No, let's just start. No, uh, let's start on it. Uh -huh. Here we go. 
Let's bring you the gloves. These are fucked. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, man. Might as well have one of them while I'm here. Mm -hmm. Out and about. Just struggling for grip today on my hands. Yeah, I was just fucking saying, arms are hanging off. As soon as you come off, mate, as I've well, got fucking just... trials grips on because I couldn't get proper grips. The shit. Oh, keep going. Keep pushing on. Uh, going out, taking round, though. Hmm. Hey, bit. How do you get out of here? Fucking kidding. Yeah. 
you lifted it under there, yeah? She got out. No. Just try and stand up a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Like just wheel it back, that's it. Might be able to kick it now. Let's see if any more comes out. Yeah, uh, front gate, stand up. Still coming out of that airbox, is it still? Yeah, it's still there. Is it? Fuck it out, must be coming in with that. Yeah, it's still coming. Been right under. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's only back up. Yeah. Point right round. Get the front wheel back down into here. What, in the water? Yeah. Just wedge it there so you can, you can tip away at it. Is it in neutral? Yeah. Bloody kickstart springs oh. come off. So. Full throttle. Full throttle? Yeah. Turn around without dropping it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Typical Tong, absolutely mental day for me, as usual. I don't think I've ever been to Tong and had a full free ride. So today was full of drama again, which is a flipping nightmare. Overall, I enjoyed the ride. Um, first lap, had a good start, pushing on a bit, but then started getting a lot of uh, arm pump and cramps. Um, had a big coat on, waterproof coat because of the weather. Um, so I was overheating a bit. So, end of first lap, making a lot of mistakes. I pitted, changed my coat and gloves. Um, set off again, that made it uh, ease off a bit. Um, but I was struggling with grip. Um, changed my grips uh, the other day, and there were trials grips, and they just, I don't know why, but I just couldn't hold on properly compared to my normal grips I use. Started making good pace, thought I was 
making ground again to where I left off and ended up drowning my bike which was an absolute nightmare um, I lost two laps well front leaders of the main race Billy and that they lapped me twice while I was in in the river <clears throat> big thanks to the guy uh, spectator who helped me and John Boy Lamkin helped me get the bike going again so we got going and we pushed on after that felt really good um, no arm pumps no dramas I was riding well wasn't getting stuck in any areas and yeah overall was riding class but then coming to the end of what was my final lap um, my bike was making hell of a noise smoking like mad uh, I think the mains have give up after the water that it's took on board so we're gonna have to strip that and see what's happening um, but yeah so I come to the start finish area there was 10 minutes of the race left could have got through for another uh, another lap and uh, like I was saying I was feeling good as well so it would have been nice to do that but I just knew the bike wouldn't have survived another lap I'd just to say I got up the last couple of climbs so uh, sat and waited for Billy to come through to finish the race and followed him through the finish disappointing but positives are happy with my riding and if we didn't have these dramas would have had a had a hell of a day I would have thought so yeah course was mega absolutely class consider the conditions rode really good and yeah I enjoyed it we move on we learn from it um, hopefully the bike isn't too much of a big job to get sorted uh, and we go again at the next one but yeah please like and subscribe hope we get some decent footage conditions were horrendous so um, yeah we'll see what there is but i think most of it i'll be upside down in a stream trying to get the water out of my bike so yeah thanks for watching um and yeah we'll see you in the next one thanks a lot see you in a bit cheers